Paul says here in verse 25, whom God displayed publicly as a propitiation in his blood through faith. This was to demonstrate his righteousness because in the forbearance of God he passed over the sins previously committed for the demonstration, I say, of his righteousness at the present time so that he would be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. Now, now look at this. He, he publicly displayed or placarded his son on a cross in Jerusalem. Why? to demonstrate his righteousness, to demonstrate God's righteousness. Now, what does that mean? God had Christ crucified there to demonstrate to everyone that God is truly righteous. Now, why would God have to demonstrate that he was righteous? You say, especially, you know, well, why would he have to do that? I mean, he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah in righteousness. Yeah, but there's a problem. He saved Lot. Lot should have died there. Well, he flooded the whole world. Yeah, but there's a problem. He saved Noah. He shouldn't have saved Noah. If he was righteous, he'd have killed Noah too. Do you see? Abraham lied about his wife, put her in jeopardy. He should have died. David, come on. He should have died. You? You should die. See, heaven's problem is not when God condemns a person. Heaven's problem was when God saves one. What about your justice, God? And then, think about this, something you don't think about much. Satan the accuser, you think, yes, Satan accuses us. Look, you're not the center of the universe, okay? He does accuse you, but that's not the big deal. Satan accuses God. God, where's your justice? Noah should have died. How can he be here? He's a sinner. He got drunk. Abraham, how, where's your justice? Oh, Israel? Really? Israel? They worshiped me in the desert. Where's your justice? I mean, out on me and the, the angels that fell. Perfect justice, but this thing here, this ball of dirt, where's your justice? Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? They're sinners. They deserve to die. This goes on and on and on and on and on and on. And then this is just by way of illustration. One day, God summons the devil. You have asked how I could give a promise to the fallen parents of the human race? You have asked how I could save Noah and his sinful family from the flood and still be just? You have asked how I could call David my friend? You have mocked and asked how I could call David my son? Look to Jerusalem right now. Look to that cross. I can forgive them and still be just because there my son at this moment dies for them all under the penalty of them all. I myself have raised my own right hand and I have absorbed my wrath. 